Huh? What? Honey, go back to sleep. Uh, why am I in bed with my sister? What are you talking about? I'm your wife. But I... You don't even have a sister. I... I... I thought... I'm worried about you. Why don't you get a glass of milk to calm your nerves? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore. Maybe everything I experienced beforehand, that family, maybe that was all false. Maybe I don't have a sister. Maybe this is my wife that for some reason I'm seeing is my sister. Or oh, this is just another variation on a fucked up dream. I don't know. Right, I have a candle. I have a candle and I'm not afraid to use it. Where are we going? Not into the little closet area. But out here into the corridor, I guess. Okay. So... Back into the house. I've got to be honest, it's good to be back. So then, a glass of milk. Okay, does it have to be milk? Can it be water? Dr. Pepper or something? We might be able to get one from here. No teeth in the sink that time. It's always good. Music's changed. Ugh. <laughs> Is there something lurking around in the darkness that I just can't see quite yet? I really am enjoying this game, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's that frame. Huh. This time, not a family portrait. But uh, like a wedding photo. I married my sister. Incest wasn't exactly a thing that I thought was going to get brought up in this game, but maybe that's going to be a theme as well. Alright. Another door, another room to explore. Ah, the library again. Right. And this time, not my sister's corpse, but the Bible. And what is this? I don't know what part of the Bible that is. Hmm. I'm sure if you search one of these verses, you can you can pinpoint exactly where I'm looking right now. Mary Magdalene. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe just like before, that's just a little bit of detail that won't really add up to too much. That won't be involved in a puzzle later on. Or maybe it will. I don't know. in the bedroom. Okay, is it just that door? Uh, no, there's a doorway. Uh, right, let's try... Oh, hang on, is this a closet? Yes, it is. I can see the clothes in the background, actually. So, yeah, we've got to try this door. Can't I light the, the lanterns as I go or something? Damn. Oh, yeah. Watch out for crows. And crows, watch out for windows. Not this time. Not this time. Down into the basement? Yeah, seems to be the only option. <laughs> Stop telling me to wake up. I would if I could. Okay. The tick tock of the clock. What the fuck? Hang on. Sort of back to hang themselves, I guess? Shit. What's the time? 10 o'clock? Hard to tell, really. It's just at the, the limit. Yep, 10 o'clock, looks like. I'm noticing we're not seeing any wardrobes this time. Nothing to hide in, so I don't think those roided up baby men are going to be following us this time. Still haven't eaten that chicken. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Just little audio cues I'm listening out for, and I, I don't know what they mean. Right, this might be the place where we get a, a glass of water or something. We've come a long way. Oh, what's in here? Okay, brilliant. 
so that was it. All than that, for a little a little glug of that bottle. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to go back on ourselves now, haven't we? Nowhere else to go. Can we open that drawer? No, we can't. All right. Yep. We uh. I suppose we've got to go back to bed. You can hear that, right? Just tapping every now and then. It's like... What was that? Damn. Limited visibility. Does wonders for this game. But yeah, the, 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 the tapping. The, the scurrying that I hear. It's like... I, I don't know. Maybe there's a... Uh, I'm imagining a giant spider. And look at that painting. That's a lovely little detail there. Oh, to be honest, I didn't expect to sing this game's praises so much, but yeah, this has been pretty cool. Oh, the dolls make a return, do they? Something's telling me when I get back to the bedroom, or if I get back to the bedroom, my sister isn't going to be there, or my wife isn't going to be there. Oh, jeez. Right, let, let, let's go in here. Just want to see if anything has changed. Okay. All right, nothing that substantial. Let's just let's just leave. Nothing to find. All right, in here. I'm getting closer to something, but what is that something? Fuck. She's gone, just like I thought. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This can't end well. Wait, hang on. It's the same room again, isn't it? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, well, let's try again. Um, I think we're back in the bedroom again? Yeah. Oh, maybe in one of the variations she's going to be sound asleep. Or maybe there's something I need to do in the room to get to a new room. Let's just have a little look around. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's something I can use now. Can't have a look at that portrait up there of that uh, fine gentleman. Definitely can't go back to bed. And there's no sort of dresser table to put the, the candle on, so no. I don't think there's anything I can do. But just keep going. And going. And going. Finally, we've made it somewhere. Alright. Okay. End of the line again, though. That's it. That's all we got. Back to the bedroom. I, uh, I don't know what to make of this. Okay, I... Yeah, can we go back on ourselves? I guess we could. Oh. <laughs> okay. God, this is so confusing. Well, um, yeah. Why not? Let's try this again. So many bathrooms. All of them look relatively similar. Some of them are mirrored. That's about it. Are we ever going to wake up? What's that? <laughs> Who's that guy? I want to say maybe the developer or his friends, they, they gave their likeness to the game and they're put in portraits, I don't know. There's some kind of realistic looking ones every now and then that look like they might be references to the team or something. Alright, a little study area? Hello, who's this? Alright, I can't have a look at the notes. Okay. So apprehensive. Where are we going to go? Are we going right? No, we're not going right. We're going left. I kind of want to go through this in editing and kind of map this fucking hell. Map this thing out. It's just a bear. It's a, it's a statue of a bear, right? Taxidermy. 
But yeah, if I if I drew this down, it would make a lick of sense, I don't think. Alright. Okay, we have a door to the right. What about to the left? A chest, another padlock on it. Alright, this is a long, long corridor. <laughs> I'm really focused on just the edge of the light. Ah, what the fuck was that? Oh. Something metal. Something we can drag along the floor, like an axe, maybe. Let's go check out the other room. I think maybe we'll go to the uh, the axe murderer in a moment. Or maybe not. <laughs> Rocking a hard place much. Still, you know, I'm yeah, I'm more inclined to go towards this. Because uh, I don't think there was an axe this way. Alright. So what is this, another bedroom? Yes it is. Yes it is. Like it's just been laid in, actually. <laughs> Seriously, mate, why can't you light the lanterns? Let me see what I'm facing in this corridor. Just want to check. They... Nah, it's not an option. It definitely isn't. Okay. Um. Here we go again. I... <laughs> There's no way whatever or whoever this is isn't going to see me holding a candle like this. There's no way to put it down. There's that tapping again. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, what? It's not here. What the fuck? Oh, I'm getting all worked up for nothing, I think. Oh, it wasn't just the bear then. A rhino? Was that a goat? Pig? Deer? Jeez. Uh-huh, all right. Where are we going to go? I say let's go for the room in the background. Okay, it's getting a little bit maze-like, it seems. Um, tell you what, I want to I go back on myself and I want to see what the other option would have led to. Maybe that's a dead end. So, let's try this door. Maybe uh, another bathroom, is it? Yeah, all the dead ends seem to be bathrooms. Oh, check it out. Hang on. Is that a broken bottle? Like someone's been glassed. Alright. Well, at least it's not teeth, I suppose. Still, though. Alright. Okay, dead end. So we are heading up to this area. And I'm going to have a look at this little corridor before I try any of the doors, I think. Oh god! There definitely is something there. It's so difficult to see, but... Yeah, if I stand still, you can see what looks to be strands of hair or something passing by the areas that aren't completely blacked out, and... Yeah. Maybe that's my sister. Trying to get revenge. I don't know. Either way. Uh, in the bedroom? Sure. The veil. What does the veil mean? What does any of this mean? Alright. Okay, so I, I came face to face with someone dragging an axe on the floor. For the second time, maybe just like before, whoever was holding the axe has moved. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Down, really? Just for once, I want to go up. <laughs> All right, I just oh, come on! <sighs> They're so well placed. These jump scares. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, I've just noticed you can't run on the stairs. So if I get attacked there, there's nothing I can really do. So I think the stairs are a kind of safe area in a way. I don't think we're going to get jumped there. But again, I, I could be wrong. Shit. Uh, wake up, man. Wake up.
Okay, all right. Now we're going down this corridor for the umpteenth time. Just, just find a bed, jump in, all right? Well, I'm pretty certain there's no spiders around here or anything like that, but... There we go again. I really, really want to see who this is or what this is. But I don't want to die again, so let's run into this room. I think that's the pattern you just you have to adhere to to get around this thing. You have to go into the nearby room, wait a little bit, come back out, and they're gone. Let's see if that's accurate. Sod's Law says it's going to blow my expectations away and it's going to be hanging off the ceiling or something, I don't know. Yeah, nothing, nothing. That's the way you got to do it. It's pretty simple. Okay, yep, alright, through here. <sighs> this is such a long way. Are we in the dining room again? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, someone's had a little go at the turkey or at the chicken or whatever it was. Kind of. Maybe it's just sort of rotted away. It's been out there so long, no one's eaten it. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I said this last time, audio in this game is superb. It is really building a, a very sort of heavy atmosphere, and that lends itself very well to the art style of this game. Everything does seem so oppressive. There's lines all over the place, you, you're never really out of it. Alright, just a few boxes. Is that a birdcage? Yep. No axe-wielding murderers, though, so it's always a good thing. Onwards and upwards. Over to the next room. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Are we going to go this way? Yeah, I suppose we probably should. There you go again. Right. I'm gonna be cheeky. I'm gonna be silly. It's- it's her! It's- it's my fucking sister! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? So, did you see that? It wasn't an axe at all. It was a- I, it wasn't a sword, it was a knife. Like, a, like, pyramid head or something. Bloody hell. Right, this is where I'm going to end this part of Never Ending Nightmares. Thank you very much for watching and continuing to support the series. I hope to see you back next time, where hopefully we don't get sliced and diced. See you then. Whoa, what was that? You can hear that, right? Just tapping every now and then. It's like... What was that? Wait, hang on. It's the same room again, isn't it? <laughs> What's going on? I kind of want to go through this in editing and kind of map this fucking hell. Let's go check out the other room. I think maybe we'll go to the uh, the axe murderer in a moment. Or maybe not. <laughs> Rocking a hard place much? It's not here. What the fuck? Oh, I'm getting all worked up for nothing. I think. All right, I just oh. Come on! It's it's her. It's it's my fucking sister. Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? <laughs>